Welcome. This is the second video on how to make a BCG matrix. There are two versions of the BCG matrix maker available on this website here. If you have any questions, just email me. This one's a little bit different because this one we don't have exact market share information, but we have a good idea of how we want the uh, particular matrix to look. So in this case, we're just going to use a, a scale, a 1 to 9 scale. Uh, for relative market share and uh, growth rate. And then we're also going to use the some, same scale to uh, change the size of the circles. So I've created one here already. I've just done one for a retailer. And I've said this retailer is in five different chains of types of stores, and I've listed them there. And then I've gone through and said, OK, supermarkets, it's a dominant player. So it has a very high relative market share. Convenience stores, it's a little bit under average. Department stores, it's one of the smaller chains of department stores. Fashion and, and juice, as you can see, they're, they're quite dominant. Then I've gone through and done the same thing for market growth rate. And I've just put in some numbers. Juice stores, I've got as very high growth. And supermarkets and department stores, I've got as fairly low growth. And then I've just changed the circles, nine being the largest. This represents their, their biggest uh, business, and two being the smallest, representing their, their smallest business. I've got a little tip here. Um, you can use any number, okay, so it doesn't, it can be decimal. And I've got here, don't use exactly the same numbers, otherwise the circles will map over the top of each other. So you need to have if you've got two, hypothetically, nine and nine, you probably want to make one nine, the other, you know, 8.8 8 or something. And the same thing here, just so it shows a little bit differently on, on the map. Anyway, you've got space to put up to 25 business portfolios. And basically down the bottom here, as you follow the steps through, sorry, one title, which you would put in, two, you can enter whatever, up to 25, then you score them and then do the circles. This is an optional optional uh, section. If you don't know or you don't want to show that differently, just set everything to five. And then down here is your matrix, which you can then click on and copy and paste to wh whatever you want to. But this is how it formats. You've got the, the four boxes, stars, question marks, cash, cow, and dogs. This gives you a, a little guide to high or low relative market share as you've defined it and high and low growth rate and it just plots in like this so supermarkets was the biggest circle uh, juices was the smallest so we've got a couple of stars a question mark uh, a dog having you know relatively low market share in a mature market and our cash cow over there so basically that's it like i said it's available here and just email me if there's any questions all the best